Hey, this is another episode of Candace Michelle Views where I give my opinion on what I am viewing on any mainstream media platform or any other platforms that you could think of. I do like to advise my disclaimer that this is all, all based off of my opinion of what I state um, is my speculation of what I believe is going on or what I can make sense of or what I believe is what's going on to a lot of accusations of um, that it, things doesn't um, add up right and I don't believe in coincidences. So um, today I just wanted to go over this YouTube star or I believe she, I'm not sure where she got famous from but we're gonna get into that, trying to figure out exactly why I keep seeing her information coming across the um, my um, media most of the time. Um, so this is I, um, Kayla Nicole, is Kayla Nicole. Um, so she, I believe, is not a real character. I believe she was, um, be, she is being played by a different character that has already hit the scene and has done their, their embarrass, you know, their, their, their humiliation ritual to, you know, upgrade their, you know, their career and go on to playing other roles such as Kayla Nicole. I believe uh, the person that was playing that is playing Kayla Nicole has um, was able to you know up, upgrade her status uh, of you know of the level of her you know in her pyramid scheme and uh, the person I believe is playing Kayla Nicole um, is Tara Wallace from Love and Hip Hop. So um, we're gonna get into why I believe that. Um, so Kelly Nicole, okay, she's an Instagram star. I didn't know that Instagram could make you famous. Um, I know it's so many girls showing their, um, you know, you know, having their bra and panty or you know their beach wear, and sometimes they're just in their room and they have their whole beach gear on or whatever, you know, just to take you know skimpy pictures. And mo majority of the time, these people are not having no clothes on at all. And they're just like covering their nips in there. Hopefully, they're covering their nips and things like that. Sometimes, they're probably not even doing that. So, I don't understand how Instagram is making anybody famous now since everybody is doing that. Um, but for some reason, she uh, she must got the best bra and panty in the world because here she goes becoming a star from it. And um, what do they say? That she is a media personality how did she get that gig only only um their their savior could tell you that um and they're saying before fame she graduated from pepperdine university i mean what kind of school is called pepperdine um maybe it's something that people know i don't even know where that's at maybe california i'm guessing because that's usually where most of these people come from big cities um or they just throw them in the big cities and make up a bunch of stories. Um, yeah, but what I really started hearing her name was when she started to date Travis Kelly, which is a football player. I don't know exactly who he is, but they were making it such a big deal because they were like, I believe, an interracial couple, which makes it a big deal to the media platforms. You know, they love to push the the segregation ag agenda, you know, to divide is to conquer. So, um, yeah, let's go over um, some of where I believe I'm getting this information from. So, of course, Tyra, we know her from Love and Hip Hop, the triangle number three, the number they love. Um, they were in a treeway. Um, and don't get that mistaken for treeway. We, we're talking about three tree treeway. They were in a treeway. Um, you know, it seemed like uh, she had got the worst end of the deal because she came on the scene, you know, first season in, you know, acting like uh, she, you know, not acting, but stating she's, you know, in, in this serious relationship with this guy. And then boom, she pops up out of nowhere saying she was married. They just got married out of nowhere, smacked her in the face with her two kids and was, you know, saying that, you know, she's with this guy. And, and then they just was like, oh, tug of warring on his jackal. You know, they were tugging and warring on his, um, you know, on his jank. And, um, you know, he act like he cared. But, you know, I, I mean, how much could you really care about two girls, you know, jank, janking over your jackal? So at the end of the day, they no one gave up. Everyone was, you know, a strong trooper in this situation. It went on to doing about three or four agonizing seasons of them going back and forth with Peter Guns, okay? Um, so, uh, 
Tara, uh, it looked like, like, as I stated, got the worst end of the brink. Um, and then, of course, she came back out with another scandal saying she was pregnant by him in one of the seasons, which is very shocking because, um, you know, she's married and things like that. You would think, oh, well, I have a lot of self-respect. I had two kids. You married her out of nowhere, then had a child with her. Where would I come from having another kid? What would be the point? You already still the deal with two. I don't think, you know, three is necessary, but, you know, maybe that's the lucky number in this group because they like the number three. Um, so she she goes on to having another child. And, of course, still in top shape after she's done having three children, which is a kudos to her. So, as I stated, like, I believe that they, they do get uh, rewarded when they go through these big, giant humiliation situations. And I believe that she went on to be able to play this role. A lot of people are going to keep saying, like, oh, these people are prettier and they this and they that. Just and when you put on a pile of makeup and you put on some prosthetics and add stuff on, you're going to be prettier. You're going to look more doll facier. Because it's a fake looking face anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to keep explaining that how that happens to you. Do you not see the videos that they're putting up now? They're like literally just giving away everything. Everyone's like, oh, well, this person said I look like this. They're doing something. And then they're like, oh, cancellation cultures. Blah, blah, blah. They're talking about everything we're talking about. They're so sick that we're on point with so much stuff that they're starting to feed it out too. But they're acting like it's like a joke or it's like crazy talk. But they, they can't hide around it anymore because the younger people are pretty goddamn smart. It's the older people that's really the problem. You didn't grow up with the internet and, and, and all these young people, that they, that's all they know is the internet. And they're pretty goddamn savvy and smart, especially on TikTok. They are like on their way with like um, all the details that they need. Um, so they're not falling for the stuff that we used to fall for. We were super in the dark. Um, and, and these, these, uh, now, nowadays, these kids are very smart and, you know, it's, they're more techie smart and they see how, um, it works with the photoshops and how they, how it works with the, um, adding on to the makeup where you could, you could divert your face a certain way on, and on top of adding on like, uh, pieces to your nose. If you want to do like a Halloween spooky thing and then you add like glue to your eyebrows and things. So they know how to change up the face and look like a totally different thing. So they get how it works. It doesn't work on a lot of people anymore. So they're kind of like giving us information, but trying to divert it, saying like it's crazy talk. But um, they, they, they know that a lot of people are not falling for this, this scam anymore. So anyway, um, yeah, so she's known uh, for dating this guy, kind of made her popular. And this, we'll like and this is uh, these two talking. I believe that they just put a little bit more color onto her. She always looked like she's a different color brown when you see her. You know, she goes back and forth with her color because you know that they're not, it's not an actual real color. They're spraying her or doing something to her where, you know, sh sh her color is never like a, a sustained color. She's always a different color. But anyway, if you take a look at how they talk and how everything lines up, you'll see it's there. And we haven't been able to do that. And I don't even want to go to the club, but like the idea of just being in my own space with like the people that I love most. I mean, if you can't see that here, look at this one. Hey, Nicole here, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another episode of Strong is Sexy Workout Edition. Now, no, no, we're not doing that. Oh, but we are doing that. You just don't want to. Same voice, you. same and voice. Then, they talk exactly the same. Ask Peter like, very like structured. I can't play that music in here let me get that out the way sorry about that but if you could i just wanted you to catch it where she's like having a ponytail in her head and has her hair pulled back just wanted you guys to take a look at that can you like look at that i mean i have to slow it down for you guys i will like they have the same weird looking hit headline like you know everything is there She's not fooling me. She could fool y'all. Now, mind you, Tyra is a workout person. She started off the show running and act like she's like big on working out and stated she always wanted to be an actor. She stated that in Love and Hip Hop when she first started in the first season. So I'm not shocked or surprised that they cash out for younger people. You know, they, they're old right here. So they're cashing out for a younger, youth, more youthful life. I don't know if they take some adrenochrome and then fix up the face and then boom, they got this character where they look more youthful and all kinds of other things like that. Or, um, like I stated, they could possibly be twin sisters, niece, aunt, uh, you know, maybe related. 
that would be an explain that would be a perfect explanation if they're related but for some reason they're they're not they're they're two different people not related and that's when the questions be begin that's when you start to question what's going on we we'll typically will do our sales party every summer, Ooh, and we haven't been able to do that. And they talk exactly the same. Like the idea of just being in my own space with like the people that I love most. Yeah, seems like the most fun. Like I don't know if you guys could like really catch how they are identical and everything is in sync, and they talk very proper and prim. I don't think that's a coincidence. They talk very direct. Like, everything is, like, you know, exactly the same on how they behave. So the behavior is definitely there, you know? The same exact face and structure. Everything is there. They just changed the color. Oh, God. What is going on? You know, sometimes this thing likes to play games. Like, I don't get it. You know, there's no reason for you. See, I kind of blanked out just now. Like, come on. Like, are you kidding me? Can you explain to me what's going on? No, right? <laughs> that's that's when you make these videos. You got to expect stupid stuff like that to happen. So anyway, yeah. And, and the, this... Okay. See how, see how this is going? It's getting a little nasty in here, okay? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to get through this. It's not going to stop me from getting through this okay so yeah so um as i stated you can see she's like into working out which i advise that tyra is so here goes tyra working out good job mommy all right so this is tyra now showing her her workout ethics you know I'm really not doing the voices anymore. I, if you want to hear the voices, you can rewind back. It's a lot of it's like a music in this thing, and I, you know, I don't got time for that. But as you can see, they look at them with their little leg workout. Okay. So they're like little workout gurus. All right. Twin gymnastics, twin gymnastics. Okay, so we're gonna get into the pictures and we're gonna call it a day because, like I stated, uh, I don't really do long videos on Z listers, not really on the alphabet list listers. You know, a lot of people don't care about these people, or you know, they're not they're not concerned about you know where Tyra is today. But obviously, she I just showed you what she is doing. Um, a lot of people. You would think, where are they still making money from? Why are they still doing promos? How are they still making money from like five being on the T like 10 years ago, but yet they're still making money off of promos and things like that? Because, you know, they're not making money off of these stupid promos. They're making money off of the deals that they make with the rich, with, with the Elites. And then they go on to making these corny little posts because they want you to believe that they're still making money off of stuff like doing it this way, but they, they actually have their different ways you know and i you know I, I think they're all sex slaves like they all make their money off of doing dirty work in the bed okay um th th they have been mentioning I, I have videos where i've heard people mention that they're sex slaves or they do things for sex and um i believe that's where most of these people are getting their money from playing these stupid roles being their puppets and being their sex slaves so um yeah um uh, so I got like I said, look like she all she does is promote stuff all day, and so does she. If you go through their their Instagram, all they're doing is promoting, which a lot of people do, but it seems like they do it in the same kind of format. Um, I noticed that they were twinning with that, and then we're gonna get into the pictures. You know, if you you look, it just looks like she's very heavy makeup over here, very heavy lighter makeup, heavy heavy makeup here where you can't even see a wrinkle. You know, sometimes I feel like they have like that skin grafting, um, clay type face situation going on where it looks more shiny and fake just to give it a more youthful look where they're covering any kind of old look or wrinkles or any type of thing under the eyes. Um, I think they add on, which as you can see, they have the same exact face. Okay, this is Tyra. This is Kay Kayla Nicole here. Okay, same exact shape, same exact everything is there. I found two pictures of them both with blonde hair, and I said, oh, my God, are they not twins? Are they sisters? Are they first cousins? Like, what? are they related? And then I'll back off. But, you know, even if they're all, all these people that I put up here are related, isn't that kind of a scam in itself? 
You know, I thought it was like a needle in a haystack and these people were just getting picked in. You know, they were like uh, really good at what they do, but it just seems like they're all hiring their cousins and sisters and brothers, which I think if you go to a job, that's kind of illegal. But, um, you know, uh, even if they're not related, there is still something very weird going on that we can match them up, all these people up like this, where they sound, look, and do everything exactly alike. That's really weird, but yet here we are um, comparing like over, I've done over probably 30 to 40 people already and they're, they're in syncing like this. So somebody has some explaining to do, Ricky. They have some explaining to do, Lucy. Um, yeah, here we go. Uh, so don't think that Tyra doesn't get sexy. Like uh, pretty much looks like the same exact situation going on here. So, don't say she can't play this role because it's obvious she, she's playing it right now in her fake in her fake life and in her real persona, okay? And they're doing the same exact face and pose. I mean, I don't know how, how many face and pose. I could have took a thousand pictures and they were all in sync. I was like, what the hell? Um, definitely twins, first cousins, okay? Sisters, aunt and niece. They're related. Oh, they're not related. Okay, so then what's going on here? Somebody explain. Explain it to me. Look at the same face and same outfit. Like, I can't make it up. And then they're doing the same arm poses and everything. It's just super creepy when I did this one. I said this was so easy. And they try to make it seem like her stomach is all messed up right here. But then, like, you know, her stomach isn't. It's like that's where the prosthetic and things come in at. They, they have ways to cover stuff up with makeup and things and make it look a little nicer. Okay, so don't let this little belly, this, this weird situation with her belly button fool you. Okay? It's definitely there. Heavily makeup, not heavily makeup. That's the only difference. Um, yeah, so that's all I really got on Tyra and her twin Kayla. Um, as you can see... Everything is working out finally with the, the M lip and, and everything is there. Everything is there. Looks like they just lighten her eyes a little bit and darken her color. And as I stated, she turns into like a thousand different colors. Um, she turns into like a, a thousand different colors. This is all. Like look at this color here. Like you're in the sun. You should be darker, right? But yet here she is like almost as light. Look right here where she's really light. Like, I know people can go up and down in their color, but, you know, I just think that her color changes a lot because the tanning, when they when they do the spray tan, they don't do it as, you know, you can't do it as perfect as you do every single time. Um, So, yeah, this is all I have. Please really think about canceling all these people, um, which means um, unfollow, which means don't watch none of their shows, which means do not pay for any of their things. Um, I, I, I believe they said the Grammys, um, which was the 63rd Grammys this year. That's why it was so weird and technical. It looked like it was like all oh, like machine like everybody had on like machinery outfits looking stupid. Um, so it was the 63rd annual Grammys, which was... Uh, that's their number, and, and and I didn't pay attention. I did not watch not one second of it. Okay, that's what canceling means. It means even, and I did not want to watch anybody. But even if I did had like one, if they stuck one artist in it that I do, I did like, I was not going to support it. Also, the T Madison show, I think it comes on like after the love the 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 growing up hip hop show. I did not support that at all. I cannot support something like that. Like, the late, if you want to be into whatever you're into, fine. But the stuff that she's promoting and the propaganda she's pushing out, him, he, she, the T. Madison person, I'm not going to watch not one second of it. So that's what canceling means. Like, snatch out of the show. Do not give them one piece of your view and and, and, and keep it moving. Um, and then they'll, they'll dwindle away. Because they reported that the, the 63rd Grammys was like at, like less than half, more than half was uh, people. It was like once 10 million now turned into like four or four point something million. Literally no one tuned in. And a lot of people were chopping it up in the, in the comments stating that it's because nobody has cable. No, it's because a lot of people are starting to wake up to the bull crap. And they don't want to watch any more of these transgenders dancing around in panties. And they don't want to watch any more 
uh, propaganda of being gay and, and loving. Everybody needs to love on each other, like, no matter what the hell you are. And we don't want to see any more mask insinuation dances with the mask incorporated in it. We're sick of it all. They disrespected us with this CVD-1923, having everybody in the house and, and, and out of work and out of school. And, I, like, literally, I mean, I, I think I had the CVD-13 of somebody I was very close to, next to had got diagnosed with it. I did not go get tested like them because whatever they're sticking up your nose, I believe they're they're trying to play with your third eye and things like that. They're trying to collect DNA because like invasive, invasively sticking things inside of you and swabbing means they're they're collecting things. Um, and to be honest, this is this is somewhat like the flu or maybe the pneumonia. And I believe that um, it 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 did bother. Uh, it make you very weak. It feels like they bothered your whole nervous system where it goes from the, the tailbone to the back of your tailbone all the way up to the, the part where it connects the Atlantis part to your, your actual neck. I believe that it this this virus, um, it bothers that. They they made sure that it affects the nervous system. That's why you're so weak and you could not move. I couldn't move for like three days. And then it turned into um, a weird sickness where it was no coughing really, but you, you couldn't really breathe well. And um, it, it, it literally lasted for 10 days straight. It, it didn't go away for, it, it was literally two, two weeks. And then you start to feel like, okay, I'm not, you know, under the weather anymore. But it, I don't think that that's something to stop the whole world with. And I don't think that's something that you can pass away from. Just my perspective of my experience. And I believe that if you, you do pass away from it because you have um, you're, you're, you have a weak system, like you're, you're having like serious or like maybe very old people if they catch the flu and pneumonia, they could die. So if you're in that kind of state, of course, if you, if you catch the flu, you might die. If you catch the pneumonia, you might die. And this is somewhat like that. So you catch that, you may die. But other than that, I believe if you have some time, if you ever got sick and had the flu and you believe that you were not going to die, then you would be in the same boat as catching the CV1923. It's like the same situation, but a little bit more complicated because like I stated, for three days straight, it seemed like it was bothering my whole entire nervous system which is like the spinal cord going from your bone to all the way up to the top of your head. I'll explain that in one of my rants. I'll go into more detail. Um, so just keeping it on these people. Um, you see the scam. You see the scandal. You got to go through a lot of humiliation rituals in order to get to, you know, a, a place of pl playing. You know, you got to go through a lot of humiliations in order to playing a role like this. And, you know, she probably felt like, well, it was worth it because now I get to go on and play this character and make money with this character and make a lot of money with this character, okay? So it is about the money and the, the revenue as well. They have roles that they have to play and she decided, they decided that she can play this role. They gave her a script and she took it. Um, so like, share, subscribe and cancellation these mothers efforts okay we're getting rid of them they're out of here by 2022 hopefully and you know we can go back into rewriting what entertainment really means or what what we what we really want out of it because it's not any real real stuff coming from out of them you know so okay i'm out of here enjoy the rest of you guys night